Good afternoon. My name is Laurie Melnick, and I'm the Executive Director of the Southeast Center for Education and the Arts, where we transform education in and through the arts. Education is what saved my life. I'm a first-generation high school and college graduate. If it weren't for the arts, I would not be standing where I am today and have the honor to sit at the desk that I have just the privilege to be at every day. I love what I do, and I'm so excited to share with you a project that has become very near and dear to my heart, and I'm so excited to tell you about it and to also ask you for your help, your partnership, your collaboration, regardless of the outcome today. We want you to get involved in our work, and we're here to serve you and to make a positive impact in our community. We transform education not just in K-12, we work birth up until age 208, however long you may live. And our transformation is really systemic. The program I want to tell you about today is one that's in partnership with the Hunter Museum of American Art and the University of College of Tennessee Medicine at Erlanger. This is a program that started in 2009. And we were really looking at building diagnostic and interpersonal awareness in physicians and training. And how through the arts, we can help make that difference. Arts are safe. We're not going to kill anybody by viewing a work of art. We're going to go to the museum and we're going to look at the canvas as patient. But then we're going to take it a step further. In my background in theater, I'm going to look and see how can we, through role play, think about our interpersonal skills when we enter a room and we start interacting with patients. What we found is that we're making a tremendous impact in terms of self-confidence and self-awareness for those physicians to really build the rapport and respect that they need to make a difference when they work with the patient and have that relationship building that's so essential to them. So this year, we were afforded the opportunity through a large donation through the College of Medicine, about $22,000 for us to not just do it once a year, but to do it in every eight-week rotation. We're now impacting physician burnout. In a recent study done by the American Medical Association and also Mayo Clinic, they, um, about 7,000 physicians responded to a survey just providing some indicators in terms of emotional exhaustion and also depersonalization, which means that interaction between physician and patient. In terms of emotional exhaustion, about 38% shared that they were concerned about just how emotionally exhausted they are. Our students are indicating about 67% of them are talking about how that's a big concern of them. In terms of depersonalization in the survey, about 29% indicated the same thing with the students that we serve, about 42%. So how do we make this impact? Well, we do a lot with what is it like to enter a room? And when we enter a room, this is what we tend to see when we just ask the physicians to create a tableau of what that looks like. Let's watch. down on the clipboard, not even looking at the physician. These are things that as the outsider, they're able to view, and they're able to see what they are doing and what differences they make. Then we start to direct each other and start to give each other feedback. Let's see if we were to come down to, down to the patient's level and interact that way. A much different picture. What we're doing isn't just transforming education. It's transforming lives. Help us take what we do in the arts and get beyond the stage and into our community. Thank you.